welcome this is mel Skinner, and we're back with some more battle brothers and we have ourselves a mission to destroy a goblin camp which is right in front of us and the decision that i have to make is whether to attack them at night if they are goblins on foot using a lot of archers that would be a good call if they are goblin wolf riders not using archers that would be a bad call i think we wager on them being on foot and we attack now. Now, one problem of attacking now is I do not fully heal one of my men, so he's going to come into the battle with some hit points down. But uh, hopefully, we are going to be okay for this fight. I almost kind of wonder if goblins have a penalty uh, when using their bows at night. All right, I was partially correct. So it's a actually mixed group. So they have some goblin wolf riders, some goblin skirmishers, and then they have some goblin ambushers. So they're going to have some ranged units, and they're also going to have some goblin wolf riders. Ooh, we want to definitely use this train if we can. Let me see if I... I don't know if I've got a good enough view. Okay, he's already up there. Hmm... All right, there's a couple ways I could approach uh, the fact that this guy already has the high ground on me. Approach number one is I try and meet him, and I negate negate it by stepping here. Downside of that is it puts me one-on-one -on -one against him. The other alternative that I have is to just back off and don't have the, rain, the terrain... Uh, play a factor in this battle. I think that is the right call. But I can possibly take a shot while we're at it. That wasn't a very good chance that we would land. But if we step back two spaces, that should bring us out of... As a matter of fact, two spaces downwards should bring us away from the train. One, one, two. It should bring us away from the train. So I think that's what we're going to do with all of our men. At least that's the hope. And if they're going to engage me with their goblin wolf riders, then they'll be at a numbers disadvantage. Now, we're at a numbers disadvantage right now, 12 to 16. Granted, I do have dogs that I could put out that would get that would kind of equalize that, but for now, we're going to hold them. Go ahead and end turn. I don't think there's a reason why not to. And hopefully, we don't get uh, caught into a combat before these guys get to go, and because that would screw, I think, the whole fight. Okay. Also, it would be nice if we didn't get hit by arrows. But I can't see them, and I'm going to assume they're out of range right now. So I'm not even going to bother putting up shield walls with some of my men. All right, so we already kind of planned this move out, so we know how we need to move. to reform our line. Now, this guy may be engaged. Goblin Wolf Riders have really good movement. Let's go ahead and put up a shield wall just as a precaution for the guys that are a little bit higher up. Okay, I don't think this guy will be engaged, so we'll just save the fatigue. Now here, I think we put a spear wall up. We're going to keep this Goblin Wolf Rider off us, hopefully. But I, I think moving back like this was a good call. We take terrain out of the picture. Now it's possible they'll just wait back and they won't engage me. And if they do that, I'm not exactly sure how we, how we deal with them. But for now, they are not attacking me. All right, well, that makes things very interesting. We're going to have to make our decision with our front line, though, not our back line. So what I could do is try and just continue to shift down away from this hill. If they're going to sit on the hill... With all of their men, I mean, I don't know what the hill looks like, so we'll just have to see. Train may screw me here. But I think we start moving in a way where we shift our line about. OK, 
Okay, well, I don't know where they're going to be. I might even scout with this guy just to see where they're going to be. Okay, nothing there. Alright, so ideally what we want to do is bring our line. So this man's here. This man's here. So we're going to want to put Alaric here. I think that's the plan. Then we're going to shift this guy down. I'm going to shift Gunther to there, which is as far as he can make it, fortunately. I mean, fortunately that he can make it. Okay. I'm going to move here. But I think the game plan is that we just wait after the move. Same thing here. Move down. And then we'll wait. Okay, they are moving up. Which, honestly, I'm happy with that move. We'll see where the rest of them end up. Okay. So, where I want to be... ...is in a position... Where I can shift down as far as I can, more or less. So, I think we move here. He's not coming for us, so... And I think we... For some reason, is not letting me walk through my own men, which is frustrating as crap. Because in theory, I should be able to move here, but it's not going to let me. And there's no... Moving here would be the stupidest thing on the planet. Um, and unfortunately, it's not going to let me wait again. So I have no choice but to do this really stupid move all the way around the tree. And I think it's going to screw me all the same here too. So I'm going to have to put these guys way out of position. Okay, well we did manage to get in position with the rest of our men though, so... Move there. Unfortunately, we're not going to be in the proper position with this man, but that's okay. This guy's going to go. Fortunately, we don't have shield walls up. Oh, he's going to immediately run away. Okay. This is going to be a drawn-out battle, I think. And a lot of it is just going to be a matter of positioning. We don't want to give them high ground. That they can get an advantage from. Again, we're going to weigh with the back line, even though some of them are out of position. And we're going to lead with our front line. So, I want to move this way to see if I can get vision. Okay, I see I see him. So, I think we might as well just put up our shield wall. And I think we just bring the line along with. We're going to have two men here. If they let me do that. They might not let me do that. We're going to put Gunther here. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to put up a shield wall this turn. But... Okay, we did manage to get the high ground from him. At least at this stage. If we can engage here, this would be a good fight for us. Right, end up here. And then just... Step here. And shield all up. Now we'll see how the goblins respond. They respond by firing. And throwing crap at us. I'm really curious to see what the wolf riders do. There's only two of them. And if that one stays up on top of the hill, it's going to give us a really good advantage. Because the wolf riders are by far and away the scarier opponent that we're going to have to face here. Okay. So now we just bring the archer into a position where he's behind the line. Okay. We want him to come there, so we'll move this way. He'll end up there. He'll end up there. 
Okay. They're backing off. That gives them a train advantage, but it's actually good for us, because if we get this fight, we may be able to pick off some of the goblins before... Alright, well that's not good for us. Oh, they can really throw that far, huh? Uther might stay on top of the hill. For now. I don't have a, a shot with the archer, at least I don't think so. I'm gonna lead with our front line again. I'm just trying to think out my moves here. Okay, unfortunately, Gunther gets to go. Uh, if he had an able body, uh, non-lame foot, he could move over here after we shield wall up. I think we just shield wall and keep him where he is. Keep him defensive. Here, we can't quite engage. Well, we can. I can step here, and then I can shield wall. Not ideal, I think. Instead, I'm going to start shifting the line over a little bit and get away from this high ground if I can so they stop throwing crap at me. But I also want to get closer to their line to some extent. So we'll step here and we'll shield wall. Now we may have to f move farther than I had planned with Alaric to get him to into position. Uh, to take the place of Gunther. So I think we take Gunther's place, which would be here. And that means I'm not going to be able to shield wall. So he's going to be a target. Okay, you're going to move here. And shield wall. You're going to have to far move on top of the hill. Again, to take Gunther's place. So again, no shield wall. And then here... We're going to break our line. No, we're not. We're just going to shift. Shield wall. Shift. Shield wall. And this is going to tire out our men quite a bit. Fortunately, Alaric took a bow shot there. He's going to really limit his ability to move. This fight is going to be incredibly frustrating, but that's the way goblins are. And the train screwed us. Uh, this is the second time I fought goblins, and the second time train is just been a pain in my ass. Um, I really honestly want to be where this guy is. I guess we're just going to have to shift our line. Okay, if I move here, I may be able to get a shot off. So whoever has the best chance to hit, I'll, I'll, I'll throw a sling a shot at. Looks like this guy. Okay, we managed to hit him. Probably didn't have a great chance of landing that, but we landed it nonetheless. Okay. And turn. Uh, I guess we could put you there. And then you just stay where you are. So these poison bow shots are going to make this uh, difficult. Ugh. Especially when they hit my back line. Okay. Okay. One net out, two nets out. Pretty much completely decimated my whole game plan. Okay, back line's gonna wait. We could sling more arrows here. Not great chances to hit, but if I, even if I miss, I might hit somebody uh, we're looking to hit. So I am gonna sling these arrows. Okay, they're hitting my back line, just to piss me off. Let's try and break free. Alright. Let's behave like they're not really getting screwed by positioning or by the nets. So let's move up. I'm not sure what to do with Gunther, so I'll just wait. Okay, we managed to get through. I could move up and engage. Might be unwise, because this guy's going to just be a pincushion. 
But I feel like I have no choice. Okay. Alaric can get into combat here. Let's step this way. Put up our shield wall. Step here. Fortunately, now we're too tired. Okay. So far, our shields are doing their work. They're running out of their throwing crap. I, I normally would be able to move up and attack this turn, but because I can't, I think the wise move is to let somebody in that could move in and attack. So... Let me instead just shift behind the line here. This might be unwise, but that's what we're going to go for. Okay, you, I think, are just going to... I mean, Gunther's probably going to move here. So we could move here. With this man. Or we could just move him on top of the high ground, which... Yeah, I guess that's what I'm going to do. For now. Okay. We can move you here and attack. Gunther moves there. You move... I'm sorry, you move there. Yeah, let's, let's move here and attack. Okay, you're going to move there. And then Gunther moves here. We won't be able to put up a shield wall, but... Okay, here comes the wolf riders. Problem with this is the fact that my men are probably super fatigued from all the positioning that I've had to do to get into this, get where I am right now. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Goblins are so annoying. Ha ha ha! Hey. All right. Now we're into good position here. What can we do with it? Well, all of these chances to hit are not great. Goblins are hard to hit. Do we throw out the dogs? Not yet. Okay, this guy doesn't have a target right now, but we could shift him here and then give him a target. Okay. 72, 72, 62. Go for the middle. All right. Step up here. We won't get a shot, but at least we get our archer a little bit more safe, perhaps. Okay, well, he wasted his turn there, more or less, doing that kind of stuff. Okay. Good hit. Put our shield wall up. And see what we can do damage-wise. Okay, attack. Oh, and that was all we had because of the... Alright, well, that sucks. Okay, 70%, 70%. Let's go for the middle. Okay, fuel wall up. Fatigue already building here. Don't know if I have a chance to attack this turn. Go to shield wall up. Should be able to step up and then shield wall up. Or, or not, I guess. A little low on fatigue. Okay. Shield wall up. Poke him with a spear. Okay, dog down. Um, let's break free of the net. Or not.
Another net. Another net. Another net. Jeez. These guys ever run out of nets? Oof. Okay, another goblin. I'm in. Wow, another wolf rider. Can't believe the damage these guys are doing to me. What's going on here? Why can't I attack any of these guys? I am confused. For some reason I can't attack any of them. According to this, I should have enough damage. I mean, I'm sorry, enough action points. But I cannot attack? Is the nets a problem? Because that seems silly. I guess we'll wait. Okay. So 80%, 80%. Okay, good hit. We'll let out a dog. See if the dog can do some good. That's not where we want the dog to go. Okay. Get another attack here. Okay, that worked out. And it gives us another attack. Unfortunately, I can't do anything with it right now. But uh, we will put out a dog. And then in turn, hopefully the dog doesn't go in a way that makes me angry. Okay. Archer. We got a 20% chance to hit this guy. What happens if we do an aim shot? Can't do an aim shot because of the poison. Fortunately, my positioning is such that, uh... Okay, we got a hit. Okay, this is the only guy not tied up by a net. Come in here and see if we can kill this guy. Down he goes. Um... Continue to step forward? Question mark? Yeah. Sure. There we get that guy to flee. Okay, let's go full on for the dog. Take him out. This guy just needs to break his net. Maybe I should recover with some of these guys that are really tired. All right. Let's poke the goblin that's in front of me. There he goes. Break our net. Okay. This guy is in a lot of trouble. Let's just, uh, rest him. Alright, break net. Again, I should probably rest these guys that are really fatigued. Um, attack. Attack the goblin. Wolf rider. Okay. For some reason, I still can't attack these guys. I guess the nets are the problem. So, what out a dog? And as much as I want to move here, I don't think it's a smart move. Because if this guy goes down, they're going to fill the hole. So... I can always move there next turn, if I need to. Okay. Hopefully the dogs get some hits here. And if not, they at least distract. Another net out. Great, I just broke through that one. Okay, I expected that guy to go down. That sucks, but... This is a tough fight. 
And we knew it would be. Okay, a dog. Manager, managing to avoid a lot of damage there. All right, well, we have one positive uh, thing, and that is the fact that a lot of these guys have... problems with morale. So if we can continue to hit them, we may be able to get the route that we're looking for. Okay, another chance at a shot here. Ooh, hit them both times. So I'm assuming that we have the same problem. Well, we don't really have a valid target, A. But just wait. Here we should have a valid target. Okay, managed to land it, and we will put out a dog. Hopefully... Be able to put some more distraction out there. Okay, it's going to be hard for me to get into a position to do anything with this guy. We'll just wait. Now I can attack him. What What the heck? Okay, we did do good damage. I'm going to step back so that another man can step in his position. Okay, Alaric is going to have to do good work for us here. See if we can kill him. Okay, we've got a bunch of them fleeing. Finally, we get out of the damn net. Okay. Don't see a reason why not to attack. Okay, now a bunch of them are going to flee. If only I could get more bodies on them. It's, uh... Takes 15 fatigue. We won't be able to do it twice. Let's just rest. Let's just rest. Got targets to hit. Let's hit them. 64, 66. Okay. Alright, the battle's turned in our favor. Hmm. Now, I could do something really risky here, and I could move this guy right here to put bodies on the goblins. Now, this is going to expose him to a lot of damage. Potentially. But it puts bodies out, so he gets to um, attack. Alternatively, I could move... Hmm. I don't think that's wise. I think we just move here. Matter of fact. Hmm. I want to be able to take advantage of these guys running away, but... I don't think I'm going to be able to. Now, fortunately, the dogs have them tied up to an extent. Okay. Now, if these guys choose to run, I'll let them go. Okay, good. I don't think we've lost any dogs yet, either. Oh, good, okay. Well, if that guy is going to try and run... Oh, you punk. So I think we've lost Yanol, the militia man. Oh, come on. I find that curious. I can't shoot at this guy. Uh, let's just back off with, with our archer. Get him out of the line of fire. Um, We'll wait here. I mean, our entire front line is, is caught up in nets, which is, you know, the big problem here. Let's wait. We should be able to attack here. Maybe. Okay. Let's get on to the most bodies we can. So that when they run, you can chop them down. Let's, uh, let's go after this guy. Same thing here. I'm just putting a body on him. Okay. 
Okay. You get on the high ground. So we've rested. We're gonna have more opportunities here to break the net. There we go. Again, same thing here. We're just putting bodies on these guys. So when they run, we've got counter we got counterattack opportunity. Okay, unfortunately I only have this move. Okay, we do have an attack here. Good. Okay, that guy does manage to get away. All right, so we've killed so many of them. I'm really, honestly, all that's left is the archers. So the question is, can we kill the archers? This guy's really wounded. Let's get him out of that fight. We don't need to lose any more men than we have. We've been somewhat lucky in that we've only lost one man, but we can avoid more losses. All the better. It's possible we'll have... The archers run. If they don't run, though, we're going to tie them up with the dogs. This is where we might lose dogs. Okay. Uh, let's wait with the backliners unless they have a clear attack. You might as well just end your turn. Wait. Wait. All right, you should be able to attack, so just step up, attack. I think we've had enough fun with you. This is where we're gonna try and come to the aid of our dogs if we can, but also put bodies on these goblins. Hmm. I guess I'll move there. I mean, it's not the best move, but... Okay, I think Gunther's had enough of this fight. Pretty battered. Let's just get him away so archers aren't going to be able to pick him off. Okay. Here, we should be able to tie this goblin up. But I don't have enough... Uh, Fatigue to do anything else. Finally, we get out of that net. That guy was in that net for like an age and a half. Okay. Break the net. Start moving. That guy's going to be really fatigued. Okay, another one down. This guy's going to be fleeing. I don't want to lose any backliners if I can avoid it. So, I think we just... Uh, we let what archers are going to run away, run away. I mean, our dogs are going to engage what they're going to engage. Not anything we can do about that, but... Yeah, so this guy's going to get engaged. He's not going to be able to run. Yeah, so we're going to lose dogs stupidly here, but the dogs did amazing work for us earlier in the fight, so we can't deny their usefulness. Okay, finally we hit him. Should be able to get here. And I sh might be able to get there. Okay, I guess that's as far as I'm going to get. Hey. Okay. Start moving this way so we can kill these goblins. Okay, down you go. I mean, I'd, I'd prefer to run them down to a man if I could, but... I'm just not in the position to do that, fortunately. Hmm. Trying to figure out what the best move here is. Is 
I really wish you could recall the dogs after you sent them out. We just lose yet another dog for no reason. I also wish the dogs were more effective than they were. Uh, I mean, considering how much money they cost and the fact that they're literally, like, super ineffective. Okay, I want to be able to move here. Put a body on this guy and just start poking him. Okay, we should be able to murder this guy. Okay. Not before losing two, maybe three dogs. Okay, don't have the fatigue to do that, or... Maybe it's another level, it's hard to say. Okay. I'm going to say it's over just so we don't lose another dog here. Even though I think I have confidence we'd be able to take out another goblin there. All right, so Yandel the Militia Man, one of our better men, goes down. And I think he had one of our better helmets, too. We do manage to recover that, but we don't manage to recover the body armor he was carrying. Which is not good. Ah, and we just leveled him up, too. Uh, that's disappointing. Okay. Well, that was a tough fight. The fact we only lost one man is, you know, it's it's a blessing in, in some regards. Go ahead and continue. Having slain the last of the goblins, you take a peek about their encampment. They seem... The merry sort, piles of trinkets and instruments, all of which could double as a weapon. All it would require would be a, a dip into the giant pot of poison resting right in the middle of the ruins. You kick it over and tell the men to get ready to head back to Baron Enyar Von Thura, your employer. Alright, time to collect our pay. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead... And uh, put a cut in the video here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner signing out.